Hello everybody, welcome to round of 64, first round match of the Chalice slash CCL playoffs, whatever you want to call it, Ducky versus Coma 13697, um, PC's in the booth with me, hello. Hello, hello, what a game we are looking forward to here, Ducky of course a big star of the CCL, Coma we know a little less about, uh, but he's qualified very well with this very ordinary undead team. Uh, Ducky gone full kill team this time with some very, very nasty looking Nurgle. Uh, we're expecting a bit of a bloodbath here, aren't we, Jim? Yeah, this doesn't this doesn't look good for Coma. Um, now the winner of this plays the winner of the of the PTK match, uh, K Fog versus whoever he played, uh, which was yep. a really good match, wasn't it? Um, it was. Yeah, so bright, I think it was. So, bright, it was, so again, yeah. two very good coaches there. Yeah, bright vampires. That's that's correct. Um, so yeah, Coma's a lot of TV down. He's induced the count. <laughs> well, is... speaking of vampires, there's a lovely segue we slightly nearly missed there, Jim. <laughs> so yes, uh, there is a vampire on the pitch here. The uh, somewhat ordinary-looking undead have brought both a wizard and a vampire to the party. Oof, how exciting. Yeah. Presumably we're going to see some hypno-cheating. Uh, we could even see some potatoing on the, va on the uh, count. He is, of course, both strong and agile. Yep. And doesn't have to pass a, pass a bloodlust. Tragically, he no longer has dodge like he did in the old days, but du Ducky's got three tackles, so dodge not such a comfort concern for Ducky here. Yeah, his uh, one of his two of his key killers have tackle, um, and the developing just mighty blow uh, pest has tackle too. So yeah, lots and lots of mobile tackle on this team. Yeah. And it's just it's a filthy looking knuckle, isn't it? Ah, very appropriate. Um, <laughs> yes, it's all right, isn't it? It's all right. It could do with well, guard on the on the on this warrior. Yeah. Um, and it could do with another like claw piling on, I guess. But it's it's pretty close and like stats on the carrier. But it's it's pretty yeah. close to. Uh, I mean, you've got two. The third one could have developed a tiny bit more in your mobile pest killers. Um, the Nurgle Warriors are pretty solid. There's a, you know, the guard stand firm block is a lovely, lovely one to have. The plus strength is a lovely one to have. Uh, the claw mighty, great as a hitter. Uh, the other one block guard is good. You just, they could all be a tiny bit more, couldn't they? Yes. They're all fine, but they could just be, yeah, one level more each would make this team really, really monstrous. The beast is good, you know. Block, stand, firm, guard. That's uh, that's lovely beast skills. Um, there's a weirdly skilled rotter knocking around, but uh, other than that, yeah, it's 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 lean, it's nasty. Yeah, it's it's, it's certainly capable of going all the way. Block guard, that's pretty pretty greatly skilled, if you ask me. Yeah, but yeah, I mean it is. But <laughs> is it is it a tiny bit bloaty just to have any skills at all on the rotters? They're so easy to take off the pitch. They're, they're just the humans, right? He's like a human blitzer, <laughs> basically, <laughs> right? Well, on this team, I see a couple of AV8s, and I think, well, there's something with decay that if I hit it hard, may well disappear completely. I mean, no, no, but, no but more sure. likely than any other player, though, that you hit. Like they can't, you can't apple them, and they don't have regen. So, like, yeah. they're slightly more fragile, but not because of decay. Oh wow. He, uh, he re-rolled the GFI and then dub scold the hit. Oh my god, yeah. he's been cast. Huge regen roll. Ooh! Oh, it doesn't! Else? Is that out for the game or out for the next one too? It didn't seem uh, to be hurt. Uh, uh, just, just badly, badly hurt. hurt. Okay. Hoo -hoo -hoo. Brutal. I mean, it's still very hard to see a way through this monstrous lineup. It's stinky, it's strong, it's lethal. And maybe a tiny bit underguarded, but he, you know, we're underguarded on the undead too. We're taking on the beast for some reason. Didn't he have to try and surf this guy? Like he had, he had the two D so, yeah. there, and then he could have, he could have like four plus dodged in with a with a ghoul for the surf, couldn't he? Like surely you had to. Like that's just too good a player. Yeah, I mean, creative removal is a, a great way of getting on top of players like this, isn't it? Yeah, or even like bolt this, maybe even bolt this. <laughs> well, I mean, you can't use your bolt, but. You know, <laughs> can't you? I mean, I, I think you're so up against the wall here that a creative plan that reduces them to say half a dozen players for this half, you know, bolting one, surfing another, one's just removed themselves. You can get on top of the numbers, maybe get the touchdown and the couple off pitch. 
Yeah, Somehow survived the second half. I... Maybe, yeah. I mean, you're right. It, it's it's a, such a ballsy play to come up with a bolt there just for position, isn't it? Yeah, like... Uh, and then what if you just get double double powers when you're trying to surf? You know, yeah. suddenly you've wasted everything. It's... I don't think you can. No. Ideally, you'd want a mid-turn wizard, wouldn't you? To get the pushes. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then ball if you wanted to. Oh, is this is this two dice on the ball here? If it is, if he gets a power, isn't it? Yep. And he does get the power. And yeah, he's just filled the hole, isn't he? Oh, he's filled the hole. Oh, well, that's a suboptimal choice. Oh, but he wants to rescue his killer back from the edge. Oh, of course, claw much more just... important than winning the game is keeping that piece alive. Well, claw palming, claw palming the count can win you the game, can't it? Yeah, except that. <laughs> Yeah, so now we've got to dodge off to stop ourselves being served. Did we make the first dodge and fail the second then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, okay, yeah. I missed that. Yeah, the first one was a raw six, wasn't it? Yeah. So, he still so now we've given, we've, us, so. Yeah, we've given them a hole because we didn't manage to knock him over. Yeah. Okay, well now there's a route up. We've got to flood up this flank, don't we? Yes. We can't. Why have we not blocked? He's blocked his path a bit there, hasn't he? Yeah. I mean, I'd have dropped on the, the Claw Warrior because that piece is at least blodge, which, you know, that one doesn't have tackle, and that one delaying it would be useful too. Yeah, blodge whereas and getting the seven, isn't it? Yeah, whereas getting in the way here is not fun, is it? Mm. Just costly movement. Should still be alright. I mean, that, that yeah. looks like a score, doesn't it? Yeah, the GFIs have uh, sorted it. He does have uh, he does have edge four here though, doesn't he, for the dodge with two heads? So he could yeah, do so you could get a two die in there, couldn't you? Mm. On a fifty percent to get there, yeah, it's yeah. But then the recovery's horrific, yeah. unless you bounce it out. He's yeah, not going for it. He's, he's got pressure. yeah. He's got things that kill things. And then, you've, and then you've got four turns to score. Right? Yeah, it, absolutely, if he scores. So, you get some nice hits on the line of scrimmage, and the chances of stopping this team going wherever it wants seem quite bleak. Yeah, it's just, still tight in four, so. but it's very durable, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. What you doing now? Boy, howdy. Not a lot of banging for Ducky so far, is there? No, I wow. mean, weirdly, no. He's taken out a mummy, but he's taken out his own guy as well. <laughs> yeah, that that was the... Um, I think that was the big momentum shift, wasn't it? Massive equity swing. And then just as he was getting, getting back on top, he, um, he created that issue down the sideline that has given this score. I say score, I mean, it's not done, but it's a, it's a three plus, isn't it? So a one in nine. We could see a surf. No. Again, I wouldn't have minded just the 1D blitz, right? That if you push him like he got, then you could have 2D'd him, surfed him, and then he can't really, like, he hasn't got tackle, has he? He's, he, he, he cast one tackle, and the other tackle was KO'd. Yeah. I, I honestly like just the 1D blitz there, because you've got to do those plays to get lucky, and then that stops you getting clop on for the rest of the half as well. Well, I mean, as, as I said, you need to certainly find some of those plans, don't you, that, that changes the expected outcomes here, which is that your team gets slowly deleted and Ducky wins. Yeah, yeah, like that's a thing. So, right? how do you change that? And either it's by removing the claws, or it's by, you know, creating turnovers. But something surprising has to happen. And, uh, I mean, yeah, one dies uphill. When it goes wrong, you know, you and I would say, what the hell was he doing there? But if it does go right, it, it creates a wonderful opportunity to genuinely get on top of the, you know, who's going to win this. Yeah, I think that was the play, because, yeah, he is, up, he is uh, up shit creek, isn't he, Coma here? Well, having said that, Jim, he's, you said it yourself, Ducky has not made the removals, and he's still got the wizard, he's still got a, a vampire. Yeah. He could, you know, if he turns him over for 2-0 at the half... Yeah, still only one tackle on the field, so yeah, this is tenuous. it's going to take even, even longer for Ducky to win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, if he can turn him over here using the vampire and the wizard, that's the route to win, isn't it? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, if you go turn him up, you're looking, you're looking pretty good, aren't you? 
Yeah, Yak State. Yeah, I mean, I know it was baiting the surf, but it's only on a trash blodge ghoul. Um, and it would have just made a possible stall that much more possible. Um, also, I getting felt... surfed isn't that bad when your alternative is getting claw pumped. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's not great. We've got the ball in hand and we're straight up onto that. Oh, a little bit behind the halfway line, but okay. Yeah, I don't like going right up behind the OS. He's got four turns, hasn't he? So I quite like that from the Duckster. It's fine, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. That's what it is. And I suppose yeah. with a vampire, you need to be you know, concerned about that, that line just in front of you disappearing. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing, like, exactly, getting claw bombed is, is, a, is a major concern, and it's like getting somebody served isn't that much worse than getting somebody claw bombed. Like, it's stupid, but it's true. <laughs> it doesn't and particularly, happen. you know, it, it's about how much resources they may have to put into doing that as well, mm. which could create opportunities elsewhere, can't it? But, yeah, in terms of pure raw damage, it's not, not that much to be feared, really. Mm. Hello, Dimmy. We've done your game already. Don't watch the VOD. <laughs> oh, there's the cars. Ah, and like all of us, the undead face the bleak, inevitable grind downhill towards death here. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and he's, he hasn't got a bribe, has he? He's got, uh, he's got two babes, which is kind of a good idea. Um, yeah. He's such a rowdy team. Absolutely. But it means he can't throw in a cheeky foul on this. It, it absolutely doesn't, Jim. Look at, the, look at the size of his bench, it's fine. But he's got nobody to foul with, that's the problem. Yeah, okay. Like, look at the players. <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, that might have been a weakness in bringing the star on, is perhaps he should have benched one of the ghouls for this drive, so he had something to kick with. Yeah. Um, because he needs to turn them over. I mean, I guess that's why he needs both the ghouls as well, but... Yeah. This this has to be where he turns over. If, he, if he's not tuned at the half, you fear that this team's just going to fall apart at some point. Yeah, and he's let he's let the count get curb armed. Probably shouldn't have done that. Well, slightly more than probably. What was he doing in the front line? <laughs> yeah, okay, definitely shouldn't have done that. Okay, and he's stunned. Oh, and that's a sick that's a sick uh yeah, he shouldn't have done that either. He shouldn't have kept those two guys abreast of each other, should he? Because, yeah, the, no. the, rot, the uh, beast going in. The rot yeah, spawn that's... going in on the two players there. That was good. Really not how you counter beasts, is it? No. I mean, if anything, instead of just chevrons, you space them with one, you know, two steps further back instead of a single one. Mm. So that on any pushes, they're still only basing one. Um, Oof, yeah, this foul. is this is bleak. Oof, yeah, that is cheeky. I'm oh, not even fouling. No, not for the foul, just for position. Oh yeah, yeah, for the screen. Yeah, this guy could have been here, couldn't he? Oh, but that guy hadn't moved yet. Yeah, I don't know. Couldn't uphill him, so I wouldn't. I wouldn't have been that concerned about that. I don't know if he's trying to foul the uh, guarder just so that. Yeah, I mean, it, it was always going to be on him, but, you know, the problem is if it just stands up, it stood up, you know, under the guns of a claw piece, which, okay, now has a lot of other targets, but it's just going to get knocked over. Oof. Oh, he made his tentacles roll, but failed the dodge. Oh, and he's been knocked out, otherwise he'd have been keeping that square, which would yeah, have done something. would have been very, very handy. Except, of course, in Blood Bowl 2020, where you can leap like a gazelle over down to players. <laughs> yes. I oh, think he's just going to crack this open somehow. Well, I suspect that, yeah, Strength 5 Warrior <laughs> followed by the Claw Mighty is going to be the way he tries it. Yep. Not getting a lot of joy, though. No. 
Um, and time a little tight. He does have to move yeah, forward. He does it with a beast. That was the question. Does it with the beast? The beast and, and... Well, I mean, it is a block beast. It, it's the one in six to activate. You worry about more than the one in thirty-six. And there's the potato. No, it's a lovely ball carrier in some ways, but it does lack dodge, doesn't it? It does, yeah, yeah. It's, it's got the two heads to break lines, but it doesn't have the dodge to keep it safe. So he's a good I mean, old I normals th carrier, but you very tough here. Button. But there's there's clearly two three pluses that give um, give some lovely dice on the ball. Yeah, yeah. You can try and dodge both ghouls for an assist as well, can't you? With dodge, that's fine. Did we just pile on from a position that would have helped locked up the dodges? No. Okay, no. no. Yeah, this is the last move to, sh to shut that down. There you go. And uh, that does it. Although we are relying on tentacles firing, but it has to fire only once out of twice. Um, Should have re-rolled that there, I think. Maybe. Because this is still quite on. Like him dying when he's a rodder. I mean, that happens, doesn't it? Uh, yeah. But... There's a fair chance they swap one back at some point in the game, isn't there? Like, there's a chance here, isn't it? Oh, he's bolted. Oh, I don't like that because you're just stopping the score, aren't you? Oh. Yeah. Um, and again, perhaps at this point, a bolt for the turnover. But the, the first couple of turns, I'd have been, I think, a lot more aggressive to try and create a position where the wizard did give me some odds of the turnover. Yeah. Um, I think there it's a little late. Oh, and now, God, yeah, yeah, that's terrible. That's not lucky. Not great. Oh, okay, he's double GFIing. Yeah. So. But he should have tried these dodges first for the assist, shouldn't he? Like, if yes. he's just going to go twice, he should have just. Well, also because a tentacles fail is no fail, isn't it? Yeah. It, it doesn't cost you your action. Oh, wow. And as they were always going to try and get off some point, I would have, yes, done them first. Yeah. Oh, I mean, wow. there's always the chance that you miss the tentacles but then fail the dodge, but it's still, you know, that's a one in nine. There was no time. And it's not using your team reroll, so. It's kind well, of there we thing, are. isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. And as I said, a fail, you're just stuck. You don't, and you know those players then won't move. So it adds to your information and adds very little to your risk. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty terrible, wasn't it? And that's usually a good idea in Blood Bowl. Yeah. So that was bad turn ordering. Yeah. And he's uh, probably lost, despite taking all yeah, well, damage. Yeah, I mean, the wizard gone is bleak. At least we've still got the vampire. That's a decent way through any line. Mm. But, of course, we put him massively at risk again because that seems to be what we like doing with him. Yeah. Like, if you're out, there's, like... You, it Just doesn't swap him with the rest of Ghoul. The rest of Ghoul is pretty trash anyway. Yeah, like, it, yes, he's not your player, but it yeah. doesn't matter. <laughs> You've no, got to win, he's, so he's your best player. <laughs> at the moment, he is the only way I see through this Nurgle line into getting hold of the ball. Yeah. Uh, but we haven't seen him hypno-cheat yet, have we? No, 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 he, fa he failed one. He tried one and failed. Right, okay. I missed it. Yes, it was, Shavita. Yeah, a terrible, terrible, oh. terrible whiz. I'll add one more for you. <laughs> also, because of vocally the rule of three, but never mind. <laughs> Hypno cheat, that's what I said, Dr. Mamabusco. <laughs> Don't be afraid of the gears. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Ooh, this is this is pretty rowdy. We could see some hot vamp action, maybe not. Um I, I, yeah, I don't see it. I mean, I I, well, you you gaze this one, and then you and then you kill this guy. He's armor six. You smash him with your mummy, don't you? Smash the granny out of him. So he should he should gaze. He should still just go in and gaze. He's not gonna. I know it's totally worth it just to smash him like that. That's sick, isn't it? Just he seems to have bought him as another mummy, doesn't he? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. It's really the strength five that seems to be what what's appealing to him. I mean, he is strength five block sidestep. That's a good set of skills. Yeah. 
Maybe he should have just got. Uh, maybe he should have just got the mummy though. If he's going to do that, then he'd be strength six, wouldn't he? Yeah, Raptor. Mm. And then you would have break, tackle, wrestle, action on the ball as well. We wouldn't. He'd have stood in the line somewhere, looking strong, because that's that's what rented stars do, apparently. Yeah. And then we could have put him on the line and on corners because he's got the armor and the strength to be an indomitable force there. Yeah. Um, but I mean, frankly, if I'm Ducky here, I'm a bit less worried about the count than I was at the start of the game. There is already a track history of him not being used very effectively. Yes. Yeah, that's true. That doesn't mean that suddenly the opponent won't wake up and, and you know use a skill set he hasn't so far been trying to access. But it's yeah, I mean you can see the focus has gone off him when the hits are still there if they want them. This was sloppy, wasn't it, from Ducky? Uh, quad skulls there, leaves yeah, him, yeah. Comp like loses the game for him essentially. Just well, like, yeah, in a position of total him. control, that that seemed a, a very mild risk, but one that perhaps didn't need take. Yeah, yeah, he's moved there straight after. Yeah, they could have just moved there first. Yeah, but sometimes that's one of those ones you do in the flow of a game, and then you look at it and you think, "Oh, why didn't I do that?" Oh yeah, I'm, I'm sure he knew. I'm it's, sure he knew. It's, it's <laughs> forgivable, but it is a positional error. Yes. Yeah, yeah. You've got to grasp at straws when you're watching a ducky game. <laughs> oh, Yaxte. I mean, Luther is an outstanding star player. He was better when he had. Um, ooh. Ooh. That's coming back, though, isn't it? He was a lot better when he was Blodge. Um, and at the sort of 1500 and 1750, uh, I played a lot of games in finals of small tournaments where I would have Chaos Dwarves and have Hathark, the truly unstoppable, back when he was good. Uh, and my opponent would have the Count, uh, who has a superfluous O in his name. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, and I mean, legendary were those tussles, but, uh, but both stars got nerfed. I mean, he is he is ducky, but you don't have to be as concerned about it, do you? Like that's the thing. Like it's not as if. Oh yeah, I mean he's he's strong. He's a block. He's sidestep. He's a nightmare to get through, but he doesn't seem to be trying to use him very creatively, and he is at times giving you easy hits on him, which to me shows that he isn't in the mindset of here's my key unlocking tool. Yeah. Um, so I just think at this point you can deprioritize him, which otherwise would have been to me as you the most worrying piece on the field. At this point, I'm downgrading him into, well, he's a problem, but he's clearly not going to use him at his full potential. Yeah. Uh, and you can just, you know, take to hitting this team and it will fall apart eventually and then you can walk a score in. I'm presuming. I haven't seen it, but I'm guessing that's what happens. He was uh, strength six. So yeah, continue. absolutely. Yeah, so exactly. You are constantly thinking, what if the C suddenly wakes up to what he can do with this strength five hit, no cheating, son of a bitch. Yeah. Um, but I've seen scant evidence so far that he's about to. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know if you weren't here. We we did also say that the minute you think, oh well, that's not going to happen, then suddenly the opponent realizes what he can do and does it. <laughs> so yes, you do have to be careful of it. Some Roby dies here, man. Yeah, this is. You're expecting a lot more advancement out of this turn, weren't you? Mm. It was a great position and it hasn't seemed to achieve very much. But getting away from the count now. So yeah, getting away from the count has value. Um, e even the second mummy is still at least a turn away from being particularly relevant to what's going on. He can get involved on the edge of this drive. But if only that mummy had been knocked over, you could have had a real chance at this flank. Mm. This is a nice trade as well for the uh, for the undead, isn't it? Getting the zombie on yeah. the strength five guy here would be nice for them. And then everyone else can run around. Yeah, the no, ducky might a, not score here. There's a cheeky little one die on the ball left here as well, which just demands taking. Oh, he had to GFI. He had to GFI yeah. and knock him down. Well, a similar turn of challenging dice in response feels like it's uh, evening up the situation and, and solving the problem to some degree. Mm. Oh, I don't like that. I mean, I, I, I don't hate a threat into the backfield, but the count feels like an over-response to that. Yeah. 
And also, he's not gazing anything. No. I mean, one step more and you gaze. I... Or even just, you know, step him onto the back of the two Nogal warriors. Who cares if he dies? If you're not using him to break cages, use him to tie up strong pieces and take yeah, exactly. him. Yeah, exactly. Like, you want, you want him to end his turn in contact, don't you? And gaze something, basically. Like, just standing somewhere is a bit crap for him. Okay, I mean, I do see the plan. The plan here is, is wall off the cage so the cage can't advance and get the count into the backfield so the cage has to have a back corner. Yeah. That'll thin the front edge to the point where you can start to take control of the line of scrimmage with the mummies and get the other mummy back into the actual game. But the problem is if but you it, actually roll some pals. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and if you can knock your way through this line and just leave the count behind, then we're done. And hence the ghoul right out on the edge. I mean, it's a bit of a desperation play. But it's so far it's working, isn't it? Between the mummy and the two ghouls, there isn't a route forwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has had to put a cage shape in to keep safe from the count. And now the undead do have another turn to try and get in front of this drive. That mummy's got to do all the go for it, though. Yeah, well... And then I suppose the count is stopping uh, the Nurgle from swapping back to the other side, so... Oh, it's a skull. Oh, it's a why, skull. Why, why are you doing a one die before you've moved the other mummy, who's completely out of the game? Yeah, well, probably because he was going to move into like somewhere else, wasn't he? Like, I don't know. He can't get anywhere. Like, he'd have to GFI. But if you do, if you just a two plus freeze this zombie, doesn't it? Which then goes in there, and then once the zombie's in there, you two D him, which frees him up. And then all your things work, so I, I don't hate doing that first because yeah. you, you can't get in anyway. Like right? three squares ain't getting him fucking anywhere, basically. <laughs> so, no, but it gets him somewhere next term, Jim. Which yeah. now it does. Now he's still two turns out of the action. Um, but no, I see the point. If, if you if that was going to unlock the position, as you say, and I, I see that chain working, I still don't know that that mummy was the what can they do two go for its afterwards to try and get right in front of the ball. But maybe if you maybe if you can, yeah, like just, just see what happens. See if you use your reroll. Yeah. Like, except that one in thirty six times you're up shit creek without a paddle, which is like you know this guy gets surfed and everything gets destroyed anyway. So like yes. one in thirty six times you, you just lose. So if you've lost, it doesn't really matter if that guy's three squares across. So, I suppose, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, see what happens there. If you use your reroll, then you move him to get him somewhere with no rerolls. And then if yeah. you've still got your rerolls at the end, then you can try for your GFI with him, maybe. Yeah, I, I hear the defense. I think getting that mummy back involved is so important to stopping this drive, which I now don't think can be done. Yeah. Um, that I think possibly even moving him and doing the two go for its first whilst you had reroll cover might have been the way to go. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Um, or if not, even moving him the three, because the three now with two go for its could put him right onto the ball. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> there's the GFI fail. But there you are. Well. That's, you shouldn't have done that because GFIs fail. Wow. I respect that he did the second one anyway. At this point, you have to. Now his count's on the wrong side as well. Yeah, the count's just in a bad place. But that's not a bad move. And he hypno-cheats mm -hmm. and gets it. Okay, this is actually now some form of defense. Ish. <laughs> Lever someone free. This is all okay. And then fails. Yeah, and he's that, that was less okay. And now the well, yeah, we're gets pommed and it's all over. Yeah. yeah Woo! It is. <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon, Andrek. Dionysian, haha. Um, I I fail GFIs. I try very hard not to have to do them, but sadly, I'm not very good at blood bowl. So sometimes I am out of position and have to throw a GFI. But there's two types, isn't there? There's the GFI you can't fail and have to do a reroll on. In fact, more than that, then there's the GFI that you don't mind failing. You know, it, it's if it's works it's fine but if it fails it's not the end of the world yeah. um, but it's worth taking the risk to get the extra move yeah love those kind of um so yeah at the end of the turn i might throw a couple of those but then not care if they fail yeah um 
I, I think you misread the board, Moradam. I'm pretty sure we could not have 2D'd with a zombie. No. Not that I saw. But I've been wrong before. <laughs> Dope. Lord Dio. 2020 <laughs> named after the average amount of GFIs PC makes in a dwarf game. <laughs> <laughs> and of course Dio, you know, famously doesn't tend to move anywhere as dwarves. He'll just stay still until sort of turn 7. Mm. And then try and put five go for it into turn eight. <laughs> uh, but it makes it exciting. Yeah, I've done that too. I, I, I'd, I'd, I think the best way is to is to just like go use either strat depending on what happens, isn't it? Yeah, it's a time and a place for everything, really. Absolutely. Well done. He's used the count finally. On turn 15, might be a bit, a bit too late. Well, it might be enough, Jim. It might be it enough. It might yeah. just be enough. He's that good a player that when he did finally get back into position, having been woefully out of position, was finally used well, having been woefully used. Oh, look, he's completely changed the game. <laughs> uh, the Hypnogaze was useful. That made turn ordering harder. And the Blitz, obviously, very useful. He's got sidesteps. This is only a one. Does Shouldn't and it's a Oh, goal. look at dog! Great Didn't you have to dodge? Love of a pal. Didn't you have to dodge to two D in there? Didn't that have to be a dodge two D from the mighty blow guy? I, I mean, I thought so because one die against a sidestep with block is tricky, isn't it? It's a yeah. five plus. Even willing to put the reroll in, that's fifty-five percent to get the power, of course. But then you've got a naked three plus to pick up. Um, and with the count, now that he's woken up to his possibilities, losing the overtime ball would have uh, been tricky because you haven't killed enough undead. Yeah. Not in fact. <laughs> all fine. <laughs> wow. That's sad times, isn't it, when you know when you get outbashed by undead. Like, nearly rookie. Well, they're not nearly rookie, but like they're a totally crap team compared to the, <laughs> compared to the Nurgle. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh, his chat game threw you off. Oh, ducky. Oh, well, there you go. Fair play to Coma then. Fair uh, play to Yeah, no, well. The ultimate Hail Mary that we weren't privileged to. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. Ducky displaying some Elliot like weakness <laughs> in the chat game. <laughs> that's, one to, that's one to store in the old. <laughs> In the old, in the old brain, there. If we have, if we ever meet in the chalice again. <laughs> yes, this is. Um, I mean, you do know they should be one square further apart, you know, <laughs> making it slightly harder again. But... <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. Well, it's not that. It's this. Look. It's this. Oh dear. Oh wow! I hadn't seen that bit. Yeah, and he's moving Why? with sidestep. This Why are we? A... This is. Well, you... okay, you can solve it now. <laughs> Look at dog, ducky. <laughs> Look at dog. <laughs> yeah, full on punished. Uh, mistakes often are in Blood Bowl. We've seen that over the years. <laughs> wow. You yes. can't just get away with stuff. Blood Bowl doesn't let you. <laughs> It's so horrible, isn't it? I mean, he didn't have a reroll, so you know. Yeah, he wasn't very likely to get it. It wasn't still very likely, but right. yeah, it's that's not that's not the mark of a blood bowl professional. Yeah. Well, that was a bit of a. I mean, a, a pretty big, pretty big error. Oh, say. we're trying the vanity pass in the middle of all the stink, but it works. Is he still going That's for the nice. scores? Is he still going for the scores? Of course he is. Of course he is. He is. And I respect him for that. He's still got to move eight blotch. It's not. He only needs three spare squares on it, doesn't he? It's not impossible, it is now, of course. Yeah. It's pretty fucking hard. <laughs> oh, yeah, really hard against a strength five piece with all that stink around. But he'd already done the pass. Yeah. I don't know. I think it was probably impossible. Uh, after the PD, but there you go. Um, <laughs> yeah, you're doing it. You good. might be right. There was certainly a load of dodges which you might think elves would do, but you don't think Nogal will. Yeah, yeah, and Andy, Andy, uh, Andy 
at least got the back line up after the perfect defence. But I think it, I think that made it yes. probably impossible. Yeah, no, I don't think it was going to happen. But um, yeah, there we go. <laughs> and the uh, the plus strength got an MVP, so that team can uh, can uh, go forwards. Yeah. Does that level it? It looks like it. Uh, no, no, you no, have three. no. It's uh, it's up from thirty three to thirty eight. Yeah. Well, there we are. Uh, no damage done. There was one rotter dead, wasn't it? But it, I don't recall it was any good, was it? No, it's a rookie rotter. Rookie rotter. So Ducky marches on, and that filthy, evil Nurgle team will face, um, as we've already given away, the, will face PTK, won't it, in the next round if he yeah. wins his against Bright? Yeah. So well, either some bright yeah. vampires or some uh, extremely feisty looking Bretonians. Yeah, what a match that will be. I'd, I'd give Ducky the advantage if he manages to ever knock anybody over or break any armour. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it, it, to win without doing that just makes you think, well, next time I'm going to really dice someone. <laughs> yeah, I'm due to dice someone. I hope it's you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I always invert it and say I do hope it isn't you, but it, it plants the same seed of doubt, I find. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Well, but That's because I'm nice, Jim. Yes, lovely, lovely PC. Um, I'll keep you shorter than me. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, well, thank you, PC. Congrats, Ducky. Commiserations, Coma. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.